uh, wood smoke, uh, black carbon is one of the most dangerous uh, PM 2.5 constituents that you can get uh, expose yourself to with prolonged uh, exposure. It leads to heart failure, lung failure, and also it has carcinogenic impacts leading uh, to cancer. So you get, if you like cancer, you like your heart to fail. <laughs> but, uh, that's uh, what you, you would like. So it's it's a it's a huge health impact uh, concern. <clears throat> both in terms of its constituency, but also in terms of when and where it happens. Because, you know, if you have, a, let's say, a power plant in the middle of nowhere, you know, spewing uh, pollution, by the time it, you know, gets dispersed, makes it back to the, uh, you know, the city uh, population centers, it'll, it's diluted and, you know, uh, you don't get exposed to it as much. But what happens, as you know, with wood smoke, it's right in your neighborhood, right at the worst time of uh, the evening, uh, you know, the four or five hours when, when you're home, and you're trapped in, in your house with, uh, with this thing coming into your house. And what we've discovered also is that uh, the, your typical wood, uh, a typical home uh, structure does not filter out uh, uh, particulate matter, the wood smoke. Uh, the same way that once you go indoors, it's actually good for ozone, which is a summertime issue. With ozone, you know, indoor ozone pollution is always less than outdoor, but with particulate matter, with wood smoke in particular, your home does not really protect you from the, from the wood smoke that you, that you get. So it's very toxic and it happens at the worst time. And our estimate was that this rule would save about uh, 40 lives a year, just the changes to the rule that we've uh, proposed. So these are